We are ready to grab our tricycle and start our first day. Hope everything goes well. We're leaving very early, so the hopefully beat the traffic and uh, reach Tagaytay. One thing we weren't ready for with this trike was how much it shakes and moves. When you hit the gas or the brakes, it really wants to pull or push either direction. So it's a bit of a struggle, but it's part of the adventure. We'll get used to it. It's only day one. So our first stop, this is uh, Lake Ta'al. And we are going to the smallest volcano in the world, the smallest active volcano in the world. So this is Mount Taal, second most active volcano in the Philippines. Hasn't erupted since 1977, but they say it's due. So we're hoping, not today. <laughs> today was one of the better Tuesdays I've ever had. We woke up in the middle of Manila and drove a tricycle to a lake. We took a boat across the lake to a volcano, rode tiny horses up the volcano, and then flew a drone. It was a pretty cool day. Up at 6 a.m. again, because we have to catch a ferry to go to the next island, which is called Mindoro. So we need to catch the ferry by 10 a.m. And uh, we found out uh, the fender came loose. And so he welded that together. And then there's a big, huge suspension piece right down here. And it, it kind of connects to the front of the tricycle with a huge bolt and the bolt was gone. So thank God he found it. And uh, you know, it's gonna be safer from now on. Turns out we've grossly underestimated how much traffic there'd be today on the way to Batangas. About a million other people are on their way there too. Help me. Won't somebody help me? This trip has really opened a lot of doors for us. We got to talking to one of the crew members, and once he found out what we were up to, he introduced us to the captain and crew. They were interested in finding out more about us, about our trip, and about Janet. It was great to share stories with these guys. They were yet another example of how hospitable Filipinos can be. As we were coming into dock, we saw a security guard chase a group of kids into the water. He was carrying a stick and he had a dog. It was something straight out of a cartoon. The kids are all down there to catch coins thrown to them from the passengers on the ferry. They swallow them and then fish them out the next day. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. Just like that, we're on the road again. We've got about an hour and a half to Puerto Galera, so we're gonna enjoy this last little ride, and then we're gonna relax. Klaus's body is taking a bit of a beating on the trike, so we're gonna take it easy and get a couple things done to the trike while we're there. Puerto Galera is our first stop in Mindoro. It's quite a picturesque little spot, so we're gonna check it out a little, we're gonna rest, and we've got a couple design ideas in mind for our trike. We've also got a couple friends that live here, so we're looking forward to meeting up with them. I always enjoy showing people Puerto Galera. It's a diamond in the rough, it's, you know, it's rugged beauty, and uh, I just love the place. So Rick and his family have really uh, helped us out. They've shown us around the town, uh, they've put us up for free and uh, you know they're all also helped uh, raise some funds for uh, Janet's campaign. We have uh, hospitality for accepting foreigners in our house and we're happy we having nice people in our house sharing some nice stories so we're happy about that. We're picking up our newly designed trike today and we're really looking forward to seeing what it looks like. I love it. Really? Yeah it looks great. Very nice Richard. 
We asked that they put the flags from all the people that donated from around the world on the side, as well as a mixture of the Canadian and Filipino flag on the roof. Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We are starting our road trip again after a couple of days of rest and relaxation in Puerto Galera. We went to a concert last night, had way too many, uh, but it was a great time. And uh, now we're having to pay the price. But uh, you know, we're here to have fun and uh, we're also trying to do a good thing. And we want to show that you can have a good time while also helping other people. <laughs> I'm feeling shit. <laughs> can I say that? This is Tamara Falls, and we're just outside of Porta Galera. Tamara Falls is named after a kind of water buffalo, which is almost extinct, except for in this region. This is an exact replica of the Tamarao water buffalo. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Our top speed today is slow. There's no rush, there's no hurry. We're back together on the road again, and pretty soon we'll be in Pinamalayan. Our hotel has 360 degree views, so we're looking forward to just relaxing and taking it easy tonight. Today we're in Pinamalayan, which is a small town just before Rojas in the middle of Mindoro. We're going to be on the road probably about five, six hours. And we're going to go to Bulalacao, which is where uh, we know somebody who owns a kiteboarding school that's just newly opened there. And that's kind of a new sport for Mindoro. We're going to go there and uh, check it out. Today is one of the days I've been looking forward to the most since we started planning this trip. Bulalacao is supposed to be gorgeous. Once we get out of the city and the traffic, the road from Pinamalayan to Bulalacao is long, but wide open. We're looking forward to the sights, to less traffic, and to the beach that's waiting for us at the end of the road. On a trip like this, when you're in control of your transportation, it's almost impossible not to stop and check out everything. They have very big swords, so don't say anything stupid. The average Philippine household eats around 120 kilos of rice per year. They grow most of it themselves, and this is how a lot of it gets dried. You see this kind of rice drying all over the provinces. And when it rains, they sweep it up, put it in a bag, and wait till it dries again. So what is this, pork? Beef. This is beef. Uh, okay. Have you guys heard of Food Safe? How long is the meat okay in the sun? One day. One day. And then you have to cook it. That's how it is here. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> hey, I've been nice to you. <laughs> He's charged me twice. <laughs> With Klaus's health intact, but tail between his legs, we set off for the final stretch for Bula Lakao. We're heading to Bislik Beach. We're not sure where we are, but we're definitely in the middle of nowhere. But it is beautiful. After a few wrong turns and a little bit of doubt, we finally made it. We're now at Bisilig Beach in Bulalacao, and it's breathtaking. Of all the incredible days we had on this trip, this one is at the top. It's amazing. We're going to end today with a couple beers, get up nice and early tomorrow, go for a little hike, and check out the area. <laughs> 